What's up, everybody? This is Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com, and of course, you know they call me Napalm. Standing here by the gripper cabinet, newly installed here at Peak Strength and Fitness in Wyalusing, Pennsylvania, because I'm answering a question from Devin Hoover that's related to the rating of grippers. When is it a good time to use them, and what jumps should you look for? when getting your grippers rated or buying newly rated grippers for your collection. Here's the deal. Here's where it comes, what it comes down to, man. If you're going to train for grip contests, I would get all my grippers rated. Okay. Especially if you're ever going to host a competition, you're going to need a spread of grippers and everybody's going to need to know what gripper they're squeezing for this core sheet. All right. So that's out of the way. Next, you want to get the grippers rated that are near the pocket of the, of the gripper that you're trying to close. So let's say you are closing, you're trying to close a number three, okay? Well, this gripper, this three number here, right here, is a 151 rated number three, and I have like three of those, okay? Unfortunately, they vary a lot. I have in my own collection a 157 and a 138 that's out on loan, okay? So that's almost 20 pounds a variance on the same gripper in my collection, all right? So what you would do, what I would suggest is if you're gunning for this gripper right here, you don't know what it's rated. I mean, that might be a 157, that might be a 139. So you gotta get this gripper rated, okay? Once you know what this gripper is rated, then you wanna try to acquire five pound jumps between where you're at and where you're going. Okay, so if you're currently at a two, then number twos rate something like 106, 110, something along those lines, right? So let's say you get your number two rated. You know that you're starting at 106, you want to get to 151. Well, five pound jumps would be like a 110 or 11, 115, 116, something like that, all the way up to the number three. So you're looking at like, I don't know, 10 grippers rated. If that's too much, then what I would suggest is get your next two grippers from where you're at to where you're going. So if you're starting at 106, then maybe find a 110, 111, and then a 115, 116. Then you do your training to uh, work up to those two grippers. Once you're done with, once you have accomplished the closing of that 115, 116, it's up, it's up to you whether or not you keep your 106 and your 110. You can trade those to somebody else to get like a 120. Good luck finding a 120. You're probably going to have to spend some money on a 120. There's just not a lot of 120 grippers. Hmm. Here's a 122 though. So, that's the way that I would do it. You would just isolate a small pocket of grippers that is rated so that you know what you're dealing with. Two to five grippers that you have rated, you know what you're dealing with, and then you can make, uh, your, you build your training around that, okay? That's how I've done it for years with my coaching clients is we work with the grippers that they have in that small pocket. Guys, it doesn't make any sense if you're trying to close a number two to go get a number four rated. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be using that number four. It's unnecessary. What is necessary is the next few grippers in the line and to obtain some progressions so you're not working from a 106 right up to a 151. All right? And incidentally, in case you're wondering, they do have the 2.5 which um, this particular 2.5 is a 125. So you would be going something like a 106 to a 125 to a 151, all right? But again, those, those grippers uh, vary too. I have rated one uh, 2.5s as low as 123 all the way up to 135. So you gotta know what you're dealing with on your grippers that you're currently working on, all right? Hope this has been helpful, Devin. Seemed like there was some other confusion amongst people. I'm sure this is going to help you guys out as well. I would appreciate a thank you if you end up using this information and maybe a nod or give me some credit. But uh, in the meantime, I wish everybody the best. 
If you're looking for gripper programming, that is something that I've done for years with a great deal of success with people. So please hit me up. Not being cocky, just being straightforward. And uh, if you're looking for maybe not coaching, but maybe a workout, I've got the cadence-based training program that will be in a link in the description box below this video. Um, also got a couple other workouts based around grippers that can help you as well as a membership site that has been up since January of 2010, looking at the nine year anniversary of this website. And you can join that website, thegripauthority.com for $1 for the first 30 days. Any other questions, please leave them below this video. If the video was helpful, then please give it one of these brother, a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if this was really helpful, then share it to your friends. Appreciate it, everybody. All the best in your training.